according to my watch, our 20 minutes is up. So let's go over and we can now take our sample out of the water bath because our next step is to let it cool to room temperature before we place it in a rock salt ice bath. So the first thing we'll do is we're going to turn off the heat and we're going to unplug the hot plate. Next we'll remove the thermometer so we don't break it as we take out our sample. So then we'll leave it on the table like this to cool to room temperature. So now that the sample is sitting there on the table, again, we're going to let it cool to room temperature. The other thing we're going to do is because we want to crystallize the aspirin is we are going to take a glass stirring rod and we're going to scrape the bottom of this to induce the formation of crystals. As it is cooling, I will set up the rock salt ice bath. Having a rock salt ice bath, the temperature should get pretty cold, around uh, minus 8 degrees Celsius. This is evidence of the colligative property freezing point depression. When the particles of the calcium chloride dissolve into the water, the solution can have a lower freezing point. By having a rock salt ice bath, this will ensure that the aspirin crashes out of the solution. Our flask has now reached room temperature, so now we can put it into the rock salt ice bath to let that aspirin crash out of solution, and we're going to let it sit in the ice bath for 15 minutes. During those 15 minutes, we should start to see the aspirin crystals form. While our reaction is cooling, we're going to set up the Buchner funnel to be able to filter out the reaction solution. So that way then we're only left with our solidified aspirin.